guys today we're going to talk about being yourself now when someone says to be yourself don't be fake i just think how naive the person is when the person says don't be fake be yourself if you actually see or view things the person who is telling is actually faking by himself because human beings by nature are faking they don't have the true nature they don't know who they are to tell someone to be yourself in order for you to tell someone to be yourself you need to understand the meaning of being yourself means and a human being with his fake nature cannot tell someone to be yourself or don't be fake because we are all faking in one way or other and once you understand this nature of faking or this nature of observing things and kind of imitating other people you'll truly understand what you're talking and you will never say anyone to be yourself and don't be fake because as human beings we kind of observe things we kind of taking things as we see as we grow and the way we talk the way we act is from watching someone is from learning the natural tendencies or the natural things that evolve within us or the roots that we come in or the roots that we are born from goes away as we grow up and as we see the society and as we learn things the true nature kind of dies and the fake nature pops up or comes out of us because we are kind of observing things and we are talking what other people are talking and we are doing what other people are doing so in order for you to be yourself in a true nature truly themselves then they are almost enlightened they are almost awakened only awake awakened person can be himself can go to his roots can be like a child formless with a zone of nothingness where he is just an energy and is not consuming anything he's just radiating now in order for you to reach that state of being yourself you need to practice meditation you need to understand the things of letting go at the end of the day the basic thing or a simple thing i'm talking about is to practice meditation on daily basis understand the silence understand your true nature and understand who you really are now once you practice meditation this will come your true nature will come and you'll see your fake nature and once you can see your fake nature not being yourself being fake then you can transform yourself meditating and going into your roots of true nature where you're just an energy or formless shape or energy that you are which you have come into this body and you're just living inside this body as an energy and projecting out things and consuming things and creating things So once you kind of imitate other people you are into your false nature you cannot be yourself and once you practice meditation what will happen is there is a let go there is a let go of your thoughts there is a let go of everything that's happening and you can understand your energy you can understand who you truly are and you can be yourself and this is for all the people And if you ask me 
Am I myself? Am I truly myself? I'm not there yet. I'm also imitating someone in the way I talk. But at the same time, I'm practicing, I'm practicing. And I go into the zone of emptiness or nothingness or just being an energy. So I understand things. That's why I explain things. It doesn't mean that I'm totally converted to that energy of being myself. But as I practice on everyday basis, I reach there. And that's why I project out whatever I'm learning when I meditate or practice these techniques. I project out so that you can also evolve in life as an energy. So hopefully we understand the fakeness of our nature, the fakeness of observing and consuming things and imitating other people. And we understand the fakeness of the language that we have, we consume from everything or that we hear from. And for the, for the true nature that you want to be, there is nothingness, there is emptiness, there is being zero as you are born. That's your true nature. And once you can go into your true nature, once you can touch it, then you can be yourself. Then you come to your true nature of nothingness, where you have born with those qualities of a formless energy which sees everything in a beautiful manner as a child. That's your true nature. And in order for you to reach or be yourself or come to that true nature of yourself, you need to meditate. You need to practice the techniques of letting go of all the things that you have consumed and put in your brains or put into your system. You kind of let it go. You kind of you need to practice this letting go or meditation techniques, you know, so that you come to your true nature of being connected with the breath or being connected with the universe, connected with the trees and, you know, connected with the everything that goes around, which looks so beautiful because you don't judge. So if someone says to be yourself, understand, we are all fake people. We are all faking because if you are in born in one culture, you act in that manner. If you are born in a different culture, you act in a different manner. Like, you know, an Amish person behaves entirely different from a person who is born in a Latino culture. And a person who is born in an Indian culture behaves entirely different because we are all consuming things and we are all projecting out our culture. I'm not saying that's uh, bad or I'm not saying that it's wrong or anything, but it's not our true nature. We are consuming what we are eating from our society or what society is feeding us. And we kind of exhibit out that nature, which is not our true nature. Uh, every every person's true nature is the state that we are born with which is nothingness which is emptiness which is the roots that we go in where we kind of are zero and we don't know anything and the beauty of not knowing anything is everything looks beautiful and that's why the child is really happy as it's born because everything is beautiful. But here's there's a difference when you actually meditate. The, the, a meditative person can go into a childlike state, but at the same time, he also has this intellectual mind where he can think and perform. So he can go into, he can jump into his true state and he can come out and be this logical person. You know what I'm saying? So he can dive into his true state and he can also dive back 
to a physical or the logical intellectual projection of his nature so that other people can understand or he can understand what's going on so he can dive into both the states that's why you need to meditate and you need to come to your true nature as you practice this meditation techniques hopefully you understand what being yourself means and i never ever will say anyone to be themselves or someone is fake because i know everyone is faking here and everyone in society is faking and or or is they're consuming whatever they are processing on everyday basis whatever they see whatever they hear they kind of imitate that so we are all fake in nature and understand that true nature is as we are born that's our true nature we are we don't know anything there is nothingness and human beings create things and they make things up you know hopefully this video helps you thank you and have a blessed day